There's this thing where I'm gonna be selling candy bars, and so I want to get Caleb in on it. Uh, you know, it's a really rough um, volunteerism because I want to raise the money for prostate cancer victims and their families. So I'm pretty sure I can convince Caleb to to participate. Good old Chase, who's like my you know best friend, comes by and says, "Hey, if you don't sell 500 candy bars, something bad's gonna happen," and you know what I mean. And I have no idea what he means. But I do know in the past when he said something bad was going to happen, bad things happened. Like one time we were building a dam back in the holler on a creek, and I'm lifting this boulder, and Chase is like, hey, if you put this on this dam, it's going to be great. What happens breaks my ankle. That's all I'm saying. Hey, muscles, guys. Great. Yeah, we're doing good. As you know around here, and I got a way that you can help this community. I've got to sell a candy bar that represents every needle on this branch. 500 candy bars. That's right. Candy bars. So I need you to buy 500 candy bars right now. Sorry, bro. I'm really like watching Listen. my weight right okay. now. Okay. Okay. I get that. How many? How many candy bars can you buy? Try zero. Let's try. Let's try 100 candy bars. How about that? Candy bars. How about that? Let's try zero. Bro, watch my weight here. You know, like. People who lift weights don't eat candy bars. Like, you gotta keep focused. I mean, maybe if they were like protein bars, I would have bought like a million of protein bars, but they wouldn't sell them. Also, I don't know how he knew that my nickname in undergrad was Muscles, but I don't know if I really appreciate him using it. <laughs> gotta be honest, when I was a little kid selling candy bars up and down the neighborhood, old man Willow would never buy a candy bar from me. He was always just in his living room playing pool, sometimes in his whitey tidies, and I'd be like, hey Willow, how about you buy a candy bar this time? I got Kit Kats and Skittles and things like that. Here's my prediction. I think Muscles is gonna be old man Willow in a couple of years. That's all, that's, I mean, you know, it's probably, that's probably gonna happen. Hey, shaving guy, it's Breeze. Listen, I gotta sell 500 candy bars. Oh, oh, hold on now. Now, okay. Now, what are we trying to do here? Right, okay. Don't we both share a love with Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Well, okay? well, I don't know about that, but what do you need? Well, here's the thing if I don't sell 500 candy bars, something bad's gonna happen, man. Alright, now look. They're delicious, they're filling. What more could you want? How many ounces are the candy bars? There are several ounces. <laughs> Come on. And what's the price per unit? The price per unit, man, is per unit. Come on. That's now, 500. Now, now how, how much are we talking per candy bar? All right, look. They cost a dollar a piece. Dollar? Sure, I'm going to buy 100 candy bars. You never know when you're going to need 100 candy bars. And, and secondly, it's right, they'll be delivered right before Valentine's Day, so um, I, I, I'm sure I can give them away to one person. You know, I, I plan on kicking back some yoo-hoos with that guy at some point. I mean, me and him, we're, you know, I like him. He's a good shaving guy. So how are you enjoying your first couple of weeks of seminary? It's not so bad, I just wish the food quality... One mile! That guy runs around everywhere. Hey, 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 where's wing guy? Beardy. Okay, I got a problem. I gotta sell 400 more candy bars or something bad to happen. What kind what? of bad thing gonna happen to you? Listen, last time something bad happened, Chase was telling me about, I lost my season pass to Dollywood. Okay, I don't want something like that to happen again. Who knows what it could be? Man. Who was that guy from Dollywood? I heard about that at the Winn Dixie last man, week. Man, let's just say Nora and Dora the Explorer, whatever she's called, will never be the same after that little oh, adventure. That is a bit of a shame. Alright, but how many candy bars can I put you guys in? So Matt and I are sitting there like talking and stuff and it's really kind of cool because you know me and Matt kind of bonded and he was asking me how I was like in my seminary and this knucklehead goes jogging by all looking sweaty and kind of weird and then this other knucklehead kind of rolls up and, and, and he's trying to sell us candy bars and I, I think he was trying to sell us candy bars but I'm not sure because he just kept talking about they all be that dag on candy, candy bars and Winn-Dixie and something bad going to happen. I'm not quite sure what it was about but I think we might have bought some candy bars. Wes Wing and Beardy were pretty cool about it too. Um, 
You know, that there was a lot of people that pieced this thing together, and the cool thing was Beardy knew all about Dollywood. One, two, come on, pump them out, three, whoa, well, who's this clown? Muscles, sandals, all right, I got, I got something I got to talk to you guys about. I've still got to sell 367 candy bars. I'm not dying anymore. Look, I'm dying better. All right, look, I can see that you're a man of football. Bro, you're right. coming in here in the middle of a oh, workout. Okay, oh, he's Something's rotten in the state of Denmark. I don't know why Kayla's pushing these candy bars or who's pulling the strings, but I'm gonna find out who it is. And I'm gonna make them pay for interrupting my lift. Because nobody interrupts me during a lift. Being with sandals and muscles reminded me of JV football. I was like in the locker room, everybody's kind of fouling around and stuff, and I'm like, hey guys, let me have a helmet. You're telling me you can't sell a candy bar? Well, I don't know what the problem is. I mean, it must be... Man, this know. money is going to prostate cancer victims and their I, families. I think the problem is everybody's like, oh yeah, I'd like to buy these candy bars, and then Muscles runs by every stinking Listen, time. Listen, I think you've got a guilt trip. And it's like, it's like they see Muscles, and they're like, should I buy candy? And I mean, they're like, no, talk? I want to look like Muscles. How do we talk about Jesus? You get into heaven, or you're going to hell. That's right. I mean, candy. Look, man, I, I don't. You know. either help the prostate cancer victims or you don't. Well, I'm, I mean, it's simple. I'm trying, but I mean, I, you know, where do we where do we go from here, Chase? You know, what's next? I mean, are you going to take me to Red Lobster again, and I'm going to end I'll, up I'll in North treat Carolina? You, you or get this done, I'll treat you Red Lobster. Free then. All right, all right. Some more. delicious lobster, fresh biscuits. Okay. Yeah. Money. It's it's going to a website. Um, Hopefully it should be processed correctly to the, to the right individual. Um, and I just think that, you know, Caleb, he's got a good worth ethic, you know. And dangling the red lobster and the fresh biscuits, I think he's going to really reel in the customers for the candy bar. So anyway, Chase has done me wrong a few times, but um, I got to say, this time, I really appreciate the little pep talk. I'll have it delivered to you 30 days after Christmas. You just got to go to jeffscandybars.com, put in the code 55555, and you got them. All of them. Your room, 30 days after Christmas. What's that, like late January? It's perfect time. How about 368? I would say you 368 candy bars. Sounds good. Deal. Hey, all right, good deal. That we connected and, and, and I owe him one. So, you know, I sold 500 candy bars and, and I gotta tell you, this was a lot easier than that time I sold that thousand shark teeth to those people down there in uh, West Virginia. <laughs> I can't hold it in any longer. Okay, I have a confession to make. <laughs> okay, so the money that we collect from the candy bars, they aren't really going to a website for prostate cancer. <laughs> the website is gonna be giving the money to me. I need a great fall break, you know? School is stressful. I'm taking myself on a trip to Jamaica. Yeah, man, we're gonna have some fun, man. And it's gonna be great. I can't believe Caleb fell for it again. <laughs> hey, guess what? No red lobster, buddy. <laughs> Ha! 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 What is that ha. noise? For goodness, for goodness sake, boy, put some clothes on. This isn't Beverly Hills 90210. This is a seminary. Come on, respect yourself. I think I'm just gonna start wearing this, like, all the time now, because it's just so comfortable and warm. You know, I just feel really at home in it. <laughs>